Hey y'all, Crazy Pop here, and today we're gonna make us some spicy buffalo chicken sandwiches right here on the Blackstone. I made these the other day, and I actually recorded it the other day, but the cameras didn't want to kind of cooperate with me, so I kind of recorded it the other day. So, but they were so good, I had to make them again. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do some spicy buffalo chicken sandwiches right here on the Blackstone. These are really, really good, I'm telling you. The kids have already asked me to make them some more. You might see them at the end of the video. I already asked if they wanna help cook. They told me no, they don't wanna help me cook on camera. So maybe they'll try one on camera. Stick around, who knows? But anyhow, I said we get started. So let's fire this thing up and show you some groceries. Let's fire this griddle up. Let's go three burners right here. And yep, I'm gonna go down to low with these things. Now these are the groceries we're gonna use. I got two boneless skinless chicken thighs. I got some flour right here. We got some egg wash. And I got some buffalo style coating and seasoning right here in this bowl. Uh, I picked this up at Walmart. I said, this ought to be pretty good. We made it the other day and it was really good. So anyhow, we have some onion. That's a sweet Vidalia onion, by the way. We got some jalapenos, some tomatoes. We got some pretty lettuce. Got some pepper jack cheese, couple buns. And of course, gotta have the hot sauce and some ranch to go with it. That's what we're gonna use today. So know why this griddle's heating up? Let's get that chicken coated. All right, y'all, this is gonna be fairly simple. We're just gonna take it, we're gonna flour it up good. Get a good coating of flour coating here. Dipping our egg wash over here. Then we're gonna dip it in this buffalo uh, seasoning. All right, get a good coat of that buffalo seasoning on here. Both sides coated really good. And there you go. That's there, there you go. Now, that's a little better, okay. Get this other one done. There you go. Check on the griddle. Well, there's our white smoke. That only tells me one thing. It's time to get some groceries up on this griddle. But let's check the tip of the griddle surface and see if we're about 350, 400, be sure. 390, 380, 379, yep. Right around 350 to 400. That's about where I want this griddle temperature to be at so I can do the shallow fry. Now the shallow fry, you need a good bit of oil. And we are using canola today. Now you can use olive, you can use whatever you want. I usually use canola. I do get asked that a good bit, so just so you know. So let's throw down a good bit of oil right here. Let's get the chicken on. Just like so. Now while that chicken's cooking, I'm gonna throw these onions down kind of on the edge right here, a little cooler side, I'm gonna throw them down whole. Just kind of soften them up just a little bit. So now we got the chicken going, slow little shallow fry going on right there. We got these onions over here sweating it out. Oh, it's gonna come together pretty good here in just a little bit. All right, this chicken's been going about three or four minutes now. Let's give it a flip and see how the other side looks. Tongs work. Oh yeah, good golden crispy chicken. I'm gonna slide these onions up just a little bit too, y'all. But man, this chicken's got a pretty color to it, real pretty color. Man, I'm loving this. It's looking so good and smelling good too. I think I'm gonna throw a little bit more oil around this chicken. Just a little bit. Now I know this chicken ain't done yet. We're trying to get to a temp of 170. But well, let's check it and just see where we're at right now anyhow. You see I'm about 147 right there in the thickest part. Let's see, 141. Getting close. All right, let's see if this chicken's getting close to being done. Let's see, about 165. Yeah, about 160. It's getting close. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Let's give this chicken a flip real quick. Kinda, oh yeah, that side's looking pretty too, ain't it, y'all? Yep. Let's slide it over here. A little cooler area. Let's add the cheese. So let's add the cheese on this. Let's flip these onions. Getting a good little char on these onions. Uh-oh, that one came apart, but that's okay. Watch this. Boom, I put it back together. Get rid of some of this grease right here. 
Now we need to toast these buns because you know why? Toasted buns are always better. Who don't like a good toasted bun? Let's throw down some butter. Butter. Get them going. Get them going. Oh yeah, we're gonna have us a good old sandwich here in a little bit. Chicken looking good with that pepper jack cheese melting down on it. Got a nice little pretty cool crust on it. Them onions are looking good. Got a good little char on them, getting kind of softened up. Them buns are getting good and toasty. Oh yeah. Let's see if the chicken's ready. Oh yeah. That's like 175. 177. All right, that chicken's done. So I tell you what we're gonna do. Let's slide these buns over, put a cutting board down, and build us some sandwiches. Get them out the way. Grab my good old handy dandy cutting board. Put them down. Yes, sir. Look at that toast on them buns, y'all. Oh, boy. Put that chicken on here. Man, that chicken looks good up on there. Man, look at that crust on this chicken, y'all. Looking so good. So now, these jalapenos. I don't want them completely fresh, so I'm gonna throw them on here just for a hot second. Let them kind of cook down a little bit, kind of sear, and then we're gonna put them on the sandwich. But now, speaking of putting them on the sandwich, we gotta finish building this sandwich. Now, you can build it however you like, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with a little hot sauce, a little ranch, and then put my other stuff on top. Well, I said hot sauce and ranch. I think I'll go ranch and then hot sauce. Ranch. Hot sauce. Oh yeah, there's gonna be some good eating. Now, what? Let's uh, move these around a little bit. Let's give our peppers kind of a flip here. Move them around just a little bit. Let's see. Hmm. Onion. I think we go with onion next. Let's put the onion on there. And put that onion on. Oh, yeah. Now I think we'll add these jalapenos on here. It's been charring just a little bit. Uh oh. You don't want to go on there, do you? But you're going to. There we go. Now, lettuce and tomato. Let's throw down the tomato. And put the pretty lettuce on here. Like so. There we go. One more thing to do, and that's top them off. There they are in all their radiant beauty. Man, look at this monstrosity we done did made on the black stone. Look at the toast on that bread, y'all. This is looking so good. We got to try one of these out. We just got to. There you go, y'all. Spicy buffalo chicken sandwiches on the black stone. Like I said, we did try these the other day and they were really good. I hate the recording didn't work out. But in a way, it's kind of a blessing because I get to make them again. The kids are sitting behind the camera. Y'all say, hey. I don't know why they won't get on camera. They're getting kind of camera shy. They used to jump on here all the time. But anyhow, they're still here, I promise you. They are here. I hadn't got rid of them yet. Keyword, yet. Huh? Oh, okay. She, oh, we got we got a special guest, y'all. Come check this out. Who is this? Who are you? Who it is? New phone. <laughs> it's Tootie. It's Ansley. Remember? You remember her? It's been a while. She's growing up, ain't she? Well, thank you for making a guest appearance. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. You want to try one with me? No? Okay. If you want to try one. She'll eat it after I'm done, I promise you. But let's go ahead and cut this thing open and try one out. Get that cut open. Give you a view of the inside. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now, we got to try it out. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, that's good. That is delicious. The seasoning on here that we use, the buffalo seasoning, it's not overpowering. It's got a great taste. It's 
excuse me, I'm sorry, I don't want you to also. The buffalo season really does have a great taste. Uh, it's not overpowering, it's not too hot. Now, make these things as spicy as you want, as you see, I put a few jalapenos on here. Dump jalapenos on there if you want to. Dump hot sauce. Use extra spicy seasoning, whatever you want to do. This is just a guideline on how to make a delicious chicken sandwich. I promise you, this is, this is so good. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Also, if you're sticking around, if you're still around, please hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that bell notification. All that truly does help this channel and y'all been doing a great job of that so far. The thumbs up really helps promote it, makes YouTube think people like it. I'd appreciate that. But also, there's no obligation to this, there's the join button down below. It's just, it's just another way to support the channel. You know, it takes a little bit of money to kind of do these things and it's just another way you can help support us if you really truly like us. If you don't, that's fine, no obligation. We still love you. That thumbs up does everything. With that being said, I think the kids, y'all ready to eat? Yeah. All right, we'll see you next time.